Okay, so we'll be wanting to hot glue that down in just a moment here. Next, we're going to be working on the uh, post out wire. Get our uh, low loss cable routed around in here. Actually, hot gluing this down in place too. Okay. What we're bringing it to is right over here, right behind the power port. Point number two. Just like so. I've already pre prepped the point for soldering. Now I just need to throw just a little bit of flex base on the solder here. Grab my iron. Put a little bit of fresh solder at the tip. Now I'll bring my wire around and route it the direction that I'm planning on taking it. The lighting is probably not the greatest there. There we have it. The loss is in place. Now the last point we have to deal with is the yellow wire. Yellow wire is the same as before. I'm just going to bring it out. down underneath all this junk and bring it through this hole right here Feel out how tight you want to get it. Now I'll flip the board over. Now our routing for the yellow wire is all right. Here's the HDMI port. Yellow wire comes out right here. We're gonna have it run down the board and bring it back around like so over to here. This is uh, the point we're going to be bringing it to. This is uh, uh, on the USB port side of the CPU. And we're bringing it to FT6U7. Alright, let's get tight in here on, uh, on our solder point.
So right here is where we're bringing it. 5067. Again, this is our yellow wire. So we'll throw a little bit of flux on the point here. And again, we'll add a little, little bit of fresh flux to our iron tip. I'm sorry, fresh, fresh solder. Everything ready, as far as the council is concerned, to be able to hook it up and get it to glitch and retrieve the CPU key. Before I hot glue anything down, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then I'll come back and hot glue. 